welcome. Today guys, I'm going to be sharing with you all another vegetarian recipe and I already have this one on my channel but I'm doing this one a little bit different. So today I'm going to be making for you all kitchery. So to make this, you're going to put up a pot with some oil to heat up. When the oil is hot, add in some chopped onions. I'm just going to let this saute in here until the onions start to soften. Now I'm using just split peas alone for this and if you wanted to use a different type of bean you can maybe like a black eye goes really great in this dish also you will find the measurements and the ingredients down below in the description box now that the onion has started to soften i'm gonna add in some chopped garlic you want your heat to be on medium Adding in some chopped pimentos, chopped celery, a piece of real bell, pep bell pepper, one scallion chopped, and some carrots chopped. I'm going to season this with some salt and some black pepper. Give it a mix. I'm gonna allow these vegetables to saute in here for about five minutes. To so this, I'm gonna add in one tablespoon of green seasoning. Here I have the split peas that was soaked overnight, or you can soak it early in the morning and then you can use it later on in the day. And one cup of brown rice washed, and this is parboiled brown rice. Now give everything a mix. Just want this to fry up in here for about two to three minutes before adding any liquid to help it cook. Now to this you can either add a veggie bouillon cube but I'm going to be adding a vegetable soup mix. This is just going to add some more flavor to this meal. Mix that in. I'm going to add in some Goya adobo all-purpose seasoning and I'm going to go in with four cups of coconut milk. You want enough coconut milk to cover the rice because you need this rice to get very tender. Now I'm going to allow this to come up to a simmer. Once it comes up to a simmer, I'll cover it and then allow it to cook until everything is very tender. Now that this has come up to a simmer, I'm going to cover it. So once covered, drop that heat to medium-low. Allow this to cook until it thickens up and the rice grains are very tender. So guys, the kitchery is coming along really nicely and I just realized that I forgot to put in my turmeric powder. So I'm just going to put about a quarter of a teaspoon. I'm just going to mix that in. Now if you didn't want to put the turmeric or saffron as we call it, we call this saffron powder in Trinidad. If you didn't want to put it, you don't have to. But it gives the kitchery that distinct yellow color that it's known for. Now this still needs some more cooking so I'm going to cover it and let it continue to cook. Okay so let's check the kitchery. It's been cooking here for about 45 minutes now. I'm going to check one of the rice grains. Okay, so that rice grain was very tender. Now this is finished. All you have to do now is taste it and adjust your salt accordingly and then you can go ahead and serve this. I like serving it with coconut chutney, which I'll leave a link for at the end of this video. So you guys make sure to check that out. It's very delicious with this. Or you can have it with some kuchula, which you can find from the Kalaloo box, which is a subscription service. So you guys should definitely check out that. I'll leave the link for Kalaloo box down in the description box. So guys, if you enjoyed today's vegetarian recipe of kitchery, please remember to like the video. Leave your comments down below if you make this. Or if you make it differently, tell me how you make it. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, I hope you subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy!